Hi guys, today we're going to be doing the spiderweb French tip using drag marbling. And I'm really tired, so this is coming out kind of messy, but I think you'll still be able to uh, get an idea for the technique, even though I'm up way past my bedtime. Uh, my base color is Sephora Pure Plum. I've got one coat already on my nail, and I'm going to go ahead and add another coat. Uh, kind of thickly on there because this wet polish is going to be the base for marbling the spider web pattern on. Um, I've got just a scratch piece of paper off to the side and I'm just going to dab out some silver onto that. I'm using Sephora Double Platinum and I've got my smallest brush here. I'm just going to go into the silver and then just as neatly as possible I'm going to draw onto the tip of my nail uh, just kind of a couple of half circles and try to keep the lines as thin as possible I actually could use even a somewhat smaller brush than this or you could also use a dotting tool and then once you have your half circles on there, <clears throat> you're going to take your brush, um, you can kind of pinch the end to get it to a fine point, and then go ahead and just drag through the wet polish and create a spiderweb design, pulling uh, from the tip of your nail toward your cuticle and this nail is turning out pretty good but if you if your base isn't wet enough um, you won't achieve the same kind of marble pattern so there you can see it turns out like a spider web and if you'd like to see some more pictures of this design you can check out my blog my simple little pleasures .blogspot.com. Um, I'm going to let this dry for a while before I apply my top coat. Uh, since you are working with such a thick, wet polish, if you apply your top coat too quickly, um, it can smudge the design. But it doesn't take that long for it to dry, and I use Sesh Feet, which is a quick dry top coat, so once that's on there, you're ready to go pretty fast. Um, I may have time to squeeze in one more Halloween tutorial. I'm not sure yet, but... Uh, we'll see how that goes, and as always, thanks for watching.